there are several issues that we need to understand. One is the issue of addressing supply side constraint, which is the major sort of you know work on which the EIF is working and contributing resources into that sector, right? Because there's the problem of uh, human capital that is a critical problem that we've noticed in Africa. We also noticed the problem of access to finance, and that's also a really critical one. Then we have also noticed the problem of technology, the use of technology uh, and, and in order to sort of help African traders to improve uh, their sort of uh, export prospects by adding value to the products that they are producing rather than you know, exporting commodity and minerals, right? So that's one aspect. Second aspect that I would like to emphasize is the aspect of building capacity of African countries to participate in regional and continental free trade area, uh, area negotiation. And that's also going to be very, very critical because the negotiation has already started. And there's, a, um, there's a, not only not a dearth of capacity, but you know, capacity in many uh, sort of you know, trade ministry is limited. And if we could provide some support to them in order to participate better in the, in the negotiation process, that would be very, very useful. Uh, the third element that I would like to highlight is going beyond trade and involving the private sector and for investors in you know, putting in resources into the areas where they, have, they see potential. This is not only about you know, promoting infrastructure development, but also putting in resources into sort of producing something that, that can be exported uh, to the regional market, as well as involving them in participating in global and regional value chain. These are the three elements that I would like to focus on.